Hello and welcome to Raven's Arcana. I'm Raven, thank you so much for joining me. And we are going to continue our series on the court cards. And we'll start with our first episode of the Page and Knights. We'll do that with the Page and Knight of Pentacles. And our visual aid for the tarot throughout this has been the Rider Waite tarot deck. We'll continue that with the Rider Waite. So I think the imagery and everything captures what uh, what the tarot kind of means, and it captures a lot of the symbolism here, right? So starting off with the page. So all of our pages, one, are going to represent messages. So they are the messenger. And this could be intuition coming in. You could be getting insight into an event that's going to occur, right? This is, could signify someone giving you information verbally, or you just knowing this, knowing that an event is coming and this is solidifying that you're starting out on a journey, right? So the page is giving you a message, message of a new beginning. So in the instance of the page of Pentacles or the page of earth, this is going to be something that could be the physical self. So this could be something that you are going to have to train for. You're going to change your health for. So the physical, right? Your health. You might have to change your ways that you exercise, change the way that you eat, change the way that you do things to benefit, to improve your physical health. Or you could be starting a new position, a new job, be going to school, learning a trade. This is a journey you're about to embark on. And this is what this card is going to signify. Now, the page here is standing on fertile ground. There, there's growth, there's abundance, there's fertility, which is represented by green. He's also wearing green. His robe is green. A lot of good things here. If you look in the background, you'll see that it appears to be a sunset. Right? Now, sunsetting is usually an ending. This, this would signify the ending and the beginning of something else, right? Because when the sun comes up tomorrow, it's time to do the work. Also, it's that yellow, so consciousness kind of bleeding into orange, which is creativity, and then fading off into kind of reddish orange. So you have that creativity, that sunlight, that fire energy. Now, fire is traditionally represented by the wands, but this is definitely a lot of fire energy. I mean, he's wearing like reddish orange leggings, belt, scarf, that also signifies that fire energy. So this is a new creation, a new adventure that you're embarking on, or you're about to. And you will see also the mountains in the background. So if you're going over the mountains, you have some obstacles in front of you. So while this card is traditionally positive, this is not an easy road to take. This is not something to be taken lightly. You have a goal in mind. You have a trophy. You have that pinnacle or that money, it could be, that you want, that you want to manifest. But you're aware at this point that you're going to have to figure some things out. You have a long journey, a long road ahead. Now, another little negative aspect of this could be we're talking about the physical, the earth element. It could be physical health. You could be receiving information that you have an ailment, an injury, an illness coming or that has happened and it's going to be a long road to recovery. So you might have to train very, very hard to rehab like a busted knee. You might have to, you know, if you have high cholesterol, if you have some kind of imbalance in the body, you have to have, might have to change your way of eating, your nutrition, your exercise. If it's an illness and you have to go through treatment, this could signify that, the long road to recovery, like I said. So not always necessarily wonderful, great news. However, you do have the vision. That there's an end game. There's a goal in sight. But it is going to be a long journey. And it, you know, I did want to mention that, so all the pages, as well as being messengers, are very closely related to the tens in each of the suits. So in this instance, the Ten of Pentacles is that overwhelming abundance, that generational wealth, that huge reward 
at the end. So he has the vision of that. He knows what that looks like. But how do we get there, right? And hopefully have a little help from the Knight of Pentacles. So immediately when I see this card, especially going from the page to the Knight, I see that that orange, reddish kind of background is now almost all yellow. So he is consciously aware of his goal. He has vision. He's pondering. He has that, that pinnacle out in front of him. And while all the knights will signify motion, action, movement, he's not moving here. The horse doesn't have his leg lifted up. They're not walking, trotting, running, anything. Right? The horse is also black. The dark horse. Now he does have the red scarf still. He has the red on his helmet. And the horse has red straps around it. So this this is all, you know, power and authority. The ability to reach that goal. But there doesn't appear to be a lot of movement. And that's because this is Virgo energy. So Virgo energy governs the Knight of Pentacles. Well, Virgos are loyal, as Knights should be. But they're also hardworking. They're routine-based, detail-oriented procedures. And this is a type of tortoise in the hare scenario. The Knight of Pentacles being the tortoise, slow and steady, wins the, wins the race. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure everything is perfect. To reach that goal, that the Page of Pentacles told you about. There's a lot of vision here. Now, the negative aspects of Virgo energy and the Knight of Pentacles can be, while they are very critical and analytical, they are critical and overanalyze themselves. They can be too hard on themselves. They have low self-esteem sometimes. They're very shy. Not a lot of life of the party things here. They're always working. And they could be so hardworking that they don't enjoy a lot of other things that are going on. They don't have a lot of friends sometimes. Right? They get down in the dirt and they're doing the work. And the dark horse, you know, what is a dark horse? A dark horse is someone that you wouldn't expect to win. They come out of nowhere for the victory. Because you don't see them they're not boisterous. They're not celebrating the win before it happens. They're not flamboyant or anything. They're in the background. In the dark. Doing the work. Training at night. Getting home from work and rehabbing that knee. Studying every single night. So they make sure they, they gain that knowledge. Right? At home, prepping meals. Taking vitamins. Doing what they have to do. Taking those treatments putting the work in on that journey being detail oriented because they know they have to do that if they're going to reach their goal now the dark horse the black horse could also signify alchemy that slow process of turning lead into gold metaphorically you know this this person can also be perceived as a slow mover but it's because they are making sure everything gets done. They are making sure that everything is taken care of. And that is a good thing. And they're ready for battle. They're, they're suited up. Ready to take on any obstacle. To go over, around, or through it. Which is a great thing. Alright. Just wanted to get into... Uh, the pentacles and the page and knight of pentacles a little bit and start that series so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a like if you like what we're doing here you dig the channel and you want to get updates on future releases and content uh, please subscribe and by all means comment and i'll uh, try to get to you as soon as possible and thanks for sticking around appreciate your time and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day all right take care